to see ducks. Hey y'all. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. I've been busy and I've been sick and whatever. Anyway, lemon balm came back, of course. Now I have some extra lemon balm that I have to dig up because I don't want it to take over my yard. Um, hibiscus. I got that for oh, Mother's Day, my birthday. Uh, the bok choy is doing okay. I have crazy amounts of sweet potato starts. Oh my god, I've planted so many sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. Y'all know that. But, you know, whatever. Um, still have four little leggy, sad looking tomatoes starts down there, but I don't have room for them. Uh, the bugs or worms are eating my kale. That's okay. Mostly I grow kale. I eat a little bit of it, but mostly I grow it for the chickens and the rabbits and so forth. But, uh, cucumbers, yeah, sugar snap peas. I just grow those so my grandson can snack on them or I snack on them. Cucumber. Everything's a mess. Squash. Those tomatoes, those old tomatoes that I just kind of scattered everywhere. Well, some of them decided they wanted to grow. I didn't think they would even be viable. I didn't think they would even grow, but they have um, potatoes. These were my all top turnips that were going to seed. But then, of course, I got the worms that ate all of them but I have all these seed pods is that gonna still work y'all I don't know maybe we'll see lots of them all of them an eggy bug <laughs> and then the other all top turnips bugs are eating those too but that's okay I'm just growing them to let them go to seed squash some more of those tomatoes that I just threw out there that were old seeds same thing over here. These two tomato plants, they were just old seeds that I threw in. Now I'm going to have to time to this pole. Y'all see the wind blowing? Yeah. Oh, asparagus. I'll let some of them grow up clearly, but I'm still getting little baby asparagus. Carrots. Cilantro. Oh, let's see. Four carrots in a pot. A squash. Sweet potatoes. Mm. Let's see. This is my <laughs> expanded garden area that has been flooded for basically the last week and a half because it won't stop raining. So for the past two days, it hasn't rained, which is good. So I got to actually mow the yard. Y'all see the pond? This is the highest it's been since Hurricane Harvey. Jeremy had to tie the boat up to that tree so it wouldn't float away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pond is high, y'all. Super high. Anyway, um, my... Texas Star Hibiscus. It's coming along nicely. This is weird. Lighting. Crazy ducks. I don't know if y'all hear that in the background. Crazy ducks. There's some green beans, but this is the part of the garden that gets flooded. Random tomato out here. Oh, little baby tomatoes. Sweet potato, a little small pepper, looks like an okra, another pepper, more sweet potato, another pepper, another tomato, I had so many tomatoes, oh look, little baby tomatoes, so cute, uh, 
planted, I think, these sweet potato, six sweet potato slips last week or a week before or something. Planted four more today next to it. And then some okra seeds there today. So we'll see how that goes. Um, squash. Squash. These are all zucchinis, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know they are. Those are zucchinis. Green beans, just a few. Another tomato. Pepper. Pepper. Eggplant. Got beat down by the rain. Another pepper in my lone corn. I did, in between the tomato and the pepper plant, what did I plant today? I don't know, I threw some more seeds in there. Anyway, some more potatoes. And my original potatoes that are they're fine. Whatever. And then that's oh, this is a weird time of day for me. I don't normally <laughs> film this late in the day. The shadows. There's a couple of tomato plants over there and a squash over there that I'm like, grow or don't. I don't even water them. I don't do anything to them. Yeah. Green bean, green bean. Same thing. Those are my sacrificial uh, plants that I plant out there because that's where the deer come through. Oh, oh I already did that. Okay. Let's see. Eh. My little squash. My little squash outside the fence. Oh, They're so tiny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -mm. I have <clears throat> two dozen tomato plants in the <laughs> interior of the fenced in area. I know that's way too much. Way too much, but tomatoes, 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 tomato plants, they're doing okay. Um, kale, bugs are eating them, that's fine. I just feed those two, mostly, to the chickens and the, and the rabbits. Uh, a few okra, squash. Oh, today, not today. Today? Today? No, yesterday. This is the area where I planted all those um, radishes at the beginning of the year, which I have pulled up little by little and fed those to the chickens, mostly some of them to the rabbits, but anyway, I got all those out of there. There's still a little squash, carrots, basil, squash, carrots. I did, though, yesterday plant a little uh, eggplant start. Another pepper, eggplant, pepper, eggplant. Right on the corner over there, that looks like another okra. Green bean, green bean, green bean. And I put all that stuff together and just confuse. I'm trying to confuse the bugs. Oh, look, here's the ducks. The ducks. They come through my garden. Yes. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um. There's tomatoes all along the fence line. There are two dozen, twenty-four tomato plants <laughs> in this area. Great. Dogs. More squash. Squash. My two little sad Brussels sprouts that the worms are eating up all the time. Uh, that's a random okra. Oh, and another little baby random okra. We'll see. What kind of bug is that, y'all? I don't even know. It's hiding. Um, no. Butternut squash. There's two butternut squash growing. 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 I put this little, little thing up to try to get them going back the other way because that pretty much is going to take over the whole 
area right here in the middle, I guess. Um, there you go, watermelon. They got beat down the last two weeks by the rain. The tomatoes are doing okay though. I've got lots of little cherry tomatoes starting to. Oh, cute little baby tomatoes. It's probably really hard to see in this lighting, but. Well, the tomatoes seem to be doing okay. And I have green beans mixed in between the tomatoes, some of them. Oh, and this one, I think this is a beef steak tomato plant. Yeah. Yay! Tomatoes and cucumbers. It's almost summer, so tomato and cucumber salads are gonna be really good. Oh, I have these cute little baby cucumbers. Oh, that's probably really hard. Well, that's not focusing. Anyway, I have these little baby cucumbers. So cute. what else that's pretty much it that's pretty much it y'all oh did I oh yeah sweet potato slips way too many sweet potato slips I don't even like sweet potatoes but I gotta find a place to plant all those sweet potato slips because they're gonna eventually take over the bok choy in the grow bed up here Oh, and hey, yesterday, as of yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I have mm, way too many, uh -huh, way too many rabbits. Hey, Mama. Mama had seven babies, or at least as of yesterday. Move over, that girl. Where are they? Here they are. Here they are. There were seven. Seven of them. Four white ones. And three little black ones. They're so ugly when they're little. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. Let me see. Oh, so silly. So silly. They look like little rats, don't they? They're so funny. Anyway, there's seven babies in there. I think four white, three black. That's the newest addition. I know, I know. And... There's two of the older black ones. And then... <laughs> these are the ones I'm going to bring to the, to the meetup. Tiger gets a black one and a white one. And then there's going to be another black one and two more white ones. Because I'm keeping well, that one. That's my new rabbit. That's my pet. <laughs> um, and then these are the two. Oh, hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, I know. These are the two that were left of the litter or the batch of kits that I brought to the meetup. God, they're getting big. These two are going to get butchered. <laughs> butchered probably next week. Unless somebody wants one. Y'all let me know. Hi. Hi. But they're almost old enough to be butchered, so... There's that. Hi. I know. I know. Oh. Yeah, my laps are crazy. And then there's the new one. I did get a new one. Bought her. What, last weekend or weekend before? I can't remember. Weekend before last, I guess. I bought her. She looks like a torty calico. Her color is awesome. Because <laughs> I wanted to integrate a different color into these because I keep getting just black and whites 
Um, so she's a little skittish. But I bred her already a few days after I got her to my buck one. So there's that. We'll have babies in a, about a month from her. And yeah, well, so that's what's going on with the rabbits. And the chickens are still crazy. I still have, sorry y'all, I'm sick. I've been sick. Oh, hey Rojo. What's up, buddy? I still have my chickens. No more. Oh, don't you even think about it. Get back. There you go. Um. Yeah. Uh, no more raccoon attacks or anything like that. So that's good. There's a couple over there on the other side, running around. But that's my chicken compost pile. Throw grass clippings and so forth, and scraps and stuff in there, and they work it down for me. Man, they're doing a good job. Actually, I was in there raking it around the other day, and I'm like, man underneath all that greenery because I just mowed the last couple of days finally after all the rain um, but they're they're they get after it pull that stuff up back and forth for compost so hey buddy oh you're gonna be all big and bad are you because I'm on the other side of the fence you're so silly he's not that bad look at him we, oh okay you are gonna try to be big and bad <laughs> It's really not that bad. If I walk in there, if I walk in there, he'll just walk away. He's so funny. He's so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, and then here's the ducks. Oh, the pond ducks. Hey guys. Yeah, yeah. Those three ducks, I actually feed those ducks. They hang around all the time. There's Mama and her two boys. They come up on the porch. She comes up on the porch and eats dog food. It's so funny. <laughs> the bowl. Now, these guys, though, these are just the extras that they need to go away. Oh, no. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> Fly off. Oh. oh, and here's the fig. The wrong angle. Yeah, kind of is. Here's the fig. Oh, it's arrived. Oh, I love figs. I can't wait for this thing to get big if the deer don't come eat it all down. I hear you, buddy. But yeah, okay, oh, who was I telling? Wizard, I was talking to him. This, the pond is the highest it's been since Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey, we had water about halfway up the backyard, or a third of the way up the backyard. But the pond is really high right now. In fact, Jeremy had to tie the boat up to the tree to keep it from, you know, floating off. Anyway, that's it. It's been a while since I made a video, so short, not short, kind of long garden update and yard update and chicken update. And, oh, I do have chickens in the incubator. We are going to a cook-off this weekend, so technically I'm supposed to lock them down on Saturday, but we're leaving, so I'm going to lock them down on Friday. Shouldn't matter that much one day ahead. So maybe we'll have baby chicks next or Sunday or Monday when we get back from the cook-off. I don't know. Shortly after we get back from the cook-off. But there is that. And yeah. That's pretty much it. The neighbor's over there chilling. Listening to music. I think he's washing the car or something. I don't know. It's cool. I hear a generator or a pressure washer or something. Oh, here's my one uh, banana tree. <laughs> banana.
Yeah, it's a chaotic mess, but it's my chaotic mess. So, oh, there's a couple more eggplants, but some bugs are eating them. A couple more little eggplant starts, but some bugs are eating them. Oh, those tomatoes that are growing that I didn't think would grow. Oh, and look at these. These were some old, old, old seeds that I just put in a little cherry tomato thing from the store. And they're trying to, I mean, they're growing too. I don't know what, I don't have any more room for tomatoes, y'all. <laughs> crazy. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. That's today, Wednesday. Happy home day. And I will see you guys later.